Lovely, lovely. Just tricked you there. Got a little signal. That's got to be reviewed, especially on the first draft. Try it. Ready or not, gonna find you. <laughs> right, good afternoon, people. Bit, bit lively, yeah, okay. A bit excited actually, so I'm not drunk before we say. Right, we've done the original uh, King review today, so I said we're going to do the the 22 versus 23. I was going to say we did the new, the new King, the and new batch of the King. Yeah, and it is the King in every way, shape, or form. So uh, Michelle kept is... gabbling on. So I had to end that video and do a different one. When we was going to do the two in one, we just kept going. So this is a review of a cake from last season. Yep. And last the year. new cake that has just come out now. So obviously in that one is going to be the dated July, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah July. It was dated July. Obviously we kept it because we'll always keep one in case it don't come back. We did like to try the previous ones, get some new ones as well, to see if things were improved or, or maybe even, you know, maybe sometimes they're worse. You never know with these things, so. Well, that's not so stupid. <laughs> she should wash her mouth out with soap and water, saying something like that. So, right, I'm going to pull the, the problem is here, and this is Michelle's fault as well. We did a live on YouTube last night, and we were meant to have a couple of pints in the old king, and then switch to San Miguel. But Michelle kept saying, I'll have a, I'll have a royal um so I had to pour a royal against my wishes. It is very Moorish. So yeah, so we kind of came the keg, so the keg's on the last bar, so it will be slightly Hopefully. different in colour. Yeah, no, it will be different in colour because we've reached the bottom of the... So we're uh, reaching keg. the bottom level of that, but the idea is just to like, we're quite convinced that it, this one's just a little, a little bit better, if that was possible. So, let's pour this one. But we're going to put that theory to the test. Yeah, we are indeed. So, we have... Mm, looking good. It's looking like, like George Michael looked. I think that you'll find that, because we're at the bottom of the cake, this one's going to be a little bit yeah, darker. Yeah, it's going to be a little bit darker. But there's your pour, people. There you go. Look at that. Proper German pour there. And look, don't have the pants. It does. <laughs> but this one looks even better. I'll pour this beauty. Shush. Now we've got two of them <laughs> kicking in. Yeah. <laughs> uh, do you know how they're making that noise? It's something kind of a music theme, isn't it? So you kick him in, it plays Kanye or George or someone. So they, do you know what? They're not that much dif difference. There is a there is a slight bit of difference in colour. Um, oh, yes, shot. Um, they're not that much difference. But though, not are they? actually as much. Not as what considering you we're last barred on that. As I say, we were only meant to have one or two. Um, and we caned it. <laughs> Michelle caned it. I was just drinking San Miguel because I do that. That's the sort of guy I am. I've only mean, got one royal glass. Well, we've got two royal glasses, but the other one's locked up. So, right, yeah. Um, yeah, so first impressions on the visuals. The new one is a little bit lighter, but like we explained, the older keg is at the bottom, so that I'm putting down to that. Um, Head-wise, yeah, you have this lovely condensed bubble, thick, foamy head on them. Um, let's go for a smell. Are you going to engage? Yes, of course I am. So, just to my friends. Okay, so first of all, while I'm getting on your noses, the new one, you are you are getting more fruit in there. And a little bit more clove, I think. 
it's, it's hard for me to say. I'm not the greatest with all these smell tests. Um, for me, if you if I had my eyes closed, closed now, I wouldn't know the difference. Yeah, I can tell one from the other with the smell wise. What I am picking up, and it's really subtle differences. Yeah, so I'm not it, it's gonna not win that really one. notable. Okay. So, dive in. Here we go. The King 2022. Bang, boom. Mm. Yeah, lovely. You've got that lovely wheaty bready taste. You have got um, you've got the banana, you've got the clove. As we said to you on YouTube last night, it's effing delivered. I, I think what makes it different from the original Francis Kainer is you are getting that more kick of alcohol, which is making it a little bit more punchy, a little bit more full bodied. Um, but I'm also picking up on hints of fig and plum in there. Right, I'll say this bit. Yeah, I'll let you go. First. Right, for one, and it could be that that's dated, so let's not be wrong, with that. that's what three months out of eight now, isn't it? Mm. But it, it's, there was something different there, and I'm, I'm sure that it, it well could be in my head. Yeah, I'm buying into all that shit with Perfect Draft, I'd love Perfect Draft. Okay, but there's something, it, it's got something different to it there, isn't it? It's like when a brewer brews a beer, right? And everyone says, oh, like with the Oktoberfest. It's the same, it's the same, it's in your head. It's not in your head. The Oktoberfest changes every year. But the king is normally pretty similar. Okay. The first thing I'm going to note is that the older keg has not lost anything through being older. It, it really is still absolutely like perfectly fine. You see, you are like a fine wine. Someone please stick a sock in it. Um, oh, whoa, 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 whoa. What I am noticing is there is so much abundance of fruit mm. in the new one. You is, said about well, apricot. I am tasting the apricot. I'm said tasting this, the yeah. banana. But I'm also picking up on the, the, the right berry taste, um, the plum big kind of jammy almost taste that is there in that new one yeah it is really i'm i'm sure so there's something. nothing wrong with this at all but it hasn't oh, got that it, abundance yeah. of fruit that i'm picking up on the new one we, we consumed about eight and a half pints between us every yeah. last night plus my bloody sandwich it was expensive night on it youtube really, last night really has that raw fruity taste vibe yeah it does it, and it has a great vibe I say, um, I tasted that for the first time. If you look at the original review, and I was like, Fucking hell, hold on a minute. It's like, yeah. and I don't say that a lot because with the Royal, let's be honest here, we're not paying cheap prices for these now. So you expect everything, even with 15%, it's no longer as cheap as it used to be. So you expect it to deliver. Well, it don't deliver like that dodgy brew dog. Okay, okay so come on, people, this isn't something you can buy in the supermarket. No. You can't even buy it on draft in Germany. We no. tried. We couldn't find it anywhere. You can't buy it anywhere on um, draft. Anyway, anyone knows any different, please tell me. Yeah. Because I'll visit it. We we would we will go there, we will We've film actually it, been, do a review, yeah. we will do whatever. God, I'll go there um, tomorrow. So we, this is the this the is pinnacle. what you're gonna get. Yeah. This is the only way to try this. This and is the, the pinnacle. I mean, yeah, you can get it this way. I just bit it's not it's a bit worse for wear this one you can get the yeah, bottles imported yeah i know it's been here for ages <laughs> it's an old old one crikey um 2021 that one mm. i've had a lot more since but the point is you can get it on bottle and rednecks barn markers it's good in the bottle but it's not diamond it's service but it's not even close to the keg and i'm pretty sure that that is delivering more than that when that was new it's only an opinion remember as we said before it's subjective it's just our opinion. Um, I'm endorsed by Perfect Draft. I'm not anything to do with them, but I'm, I this talk is, to them. This is purely our opinion. For me, this tastes as good as it did 
when it first was released, this particular a keg a year ago, and it is good. And I wouldn't think anything different if I hadn't tried it side by side with this one. This year's release, and it's not even a little bit actually. I'm not. I'm not going to say it's a little bit. It has miles more fruit to it. It does. Miles it's like more. it's like the brewer. I thought I'll oh, sod it. I'll have a little bit of fun here. Can I tamper it? And can I pull I, it off? And will people notice? That's what I think. I know I think the, the brewer brewing is a massive, massive, um, intricate detail, and, and and there's so many variables in there that make things taste a different way. No, no, I get that. Whatever as well. they've done with this year's brew, you are getting fantastic amounts of fruit in there. It is. It's surreal, isn't it? It's like. And I was like, I know, I know a lot of you with a 15% only on certain kegs. I'm pissed off with you, mate, but there's a reason. But I don't this know. isn't a supermarket beer. You don't yeah. get this anywhere else. If it it right. is going to be premium price. Yeah. But that is because you can't get it anywhere else. If it weren't, if it, if it weren't on the 15%, I'd still buy this. That's how it is. She'd moan. Oh, she'll no. say, I can go and get shitty <laughs> Stella at 4.6 and I can get that amount of beers. Um, and I'll say, well, you have that amount of beers and I'll take my keg. But then she'll have them amount of beers from there and they still want my keg. So I can't win either way. But like, if that one on 15%, I'd still buy it. It's it, it's unique. It's And yeah, you're not picking it up in Simbo. As I said, you can pick up your bottles, but your bottles aren't coming close. Marcus does a huge range of beers. Don't get me wrong. I absolutely love that fellow. And they are brilliant. And um, he offers a massively great um, a service. A great service, yeah. yeah. Without a doubt. Don't get me it's wrong there, as I say. Um, but, like, that bottle and that keg, it's, it's not it's not in the races. This it's like me all, racing Michelle, this, isn't it? I'm a fit, fitness freak. <laughs> Michelle's like, you know, likes a few of the old beers and that. He's tall and I'm short, so obviously he's going to run faster. I've got to carry my belly in, to the bar. And this used to be in trouble. I, I don't get in trouble. So... He has no. to run faster. Viva Las Vegas. <laughs> <laughs> Anyone that knows knows. And that's enough on that one. Right. So um, for me, this year's brew has exceeded itself. Yeah. It it is coming head and shoulders above last year's brew. That and that was is unbeatable. saying something. Sorry. Because it's very good. It's still good now, even even a few months out of date. It's oh, very, it's very tough. good. I've only brought three kegs this year, but I've got a horrible feeling that's going to change. We're paying on leaving house, so we have yeah, to no, keep but, what we're stocking down to a minimum. But if I was to pick something to, to move with me, I'd want Royal, wouldn't I? Because if I move, say, maybe March, April, May have next year. Have you seen how many glasses? And, and I've got a keg of Royal. Got yeah, I know, I know, I know, I know. I've got to take you and your dogs. And your kids. It's just me, it'd be easy. My clothes, my beer, my bar, me. Bang. Job done. What was it you said to Sean earlier? We have to take mum with us. Who wash our clothes and tidy up after us yeah, otherwise? Right. <laughs> so, on that note, mm. I'm gonna say thank you very much for watching this video. If you get the chance to try the new keg of France Kind of Royal, you will it's, not be disappointed. It's just delivered. It's a ten out of ten. Uh, yeah, and some. There's a song, ten out of ten, Back to the Future, over and over and over again. I bet no one picks up on the words and who it's from. Something like. Oh, just think, <laughs> ten out of ten, Back to the Future, over and over again, and I feel like that with this. But there you go. It really is very good. That's it. So, thanks for watching. I love you all. If it weren't for you lot, I wouldn't even be doing this. Actually, I probably would know me. For goodness <laughs> sake, are we going to end this video right. or what? Yeah, that's Thank it. Thank you, people. You've been wonderful. That's, um, that's two videos that'll be about 20-odd minutes. Yeah. <laughs> right, bonjour.